Any other? Uh, All right. Oh, and, and so maybe the, the, this could be the extra one of your hat. You might actually say, probably wearing a hat's 0.5. Now you're more likely to wear a hat if you've got a coat or, or not. So, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. And so what's, what's the range of possibilities there to do that? Um, any other suggestions? By the way, I don't think there's just one, even for n equals 100, I don't think there's just one answer. I was sort of vaguely interested in that mark of change thing. I'd have to think about it. But I think you can actually, I'd, I'd, I'd have to check that for I'll, I'll think about that. I'll set that for homework for you to work out whether it has to be the same. Are there any other suggestions of how we might extend the kids? Because these are actually, by the way, just excellent ways of extending it. Because those kids, when we get to the end and we're reviewing it, they'll just be part of the review. That We haven't set them on a different task. They're just doing a slightly sophisticated version of that task. It, it engages them and extends them further into real maths. With going on to, without going on to tomorrow's lesson. Any other suggestions? Okay, we're going to sort of hurry now because I've got one more thing I want to make sure I get finished before three. Um, in this template, now we sort of haven't run these ones in the template to do this. The teacher proposes and clarifies the purpose and goals of the task. The possibility of multiple responses can be discussed. Students work individually, maybe with group work, Based on students' responses, the teachers pose variations. The variation might be planned or they might be created in, th in the lesson. By the way, I'm going to give this PowerPoint to Lena. I think the other ones are on the site already um, and so that people can get access to it. You don't have to copy this stuff down. Uh, teacher leads a discussion and response, response. The students chosen because of their potential to elaborate issues can be invited to report. The teacher finally summarises the main mathematical ideas. So that's what this template. So just, just in simple, pose the task, work individually with variations, students report, teacher summarises. So it's a template which actually can guide your work with teachers on how to use this type of task effectively. It's a different type of maths, what's going on here. And I think I've mentioned to you research we've done which actually proves conclusively and can really convincingly that you need to use a variety of things because kids are all different from each other and some like some stuff and some like other stuff. And there'll be some kids who like working this way and other kids who hate it. And so what you've got to say, well, well let's do something like this once a week or you know, roughly that, that type of frequency. And likewise with the other, play a game once a week and uh, do the imagined representations things once a week and do skill practice once a week so that you actually then get uh, you know, a, a mix of things. Okay. Connected to this, I think, was another issue. People raised two issues last time when we were having a discussion. One of the issues was that kids come to school, to, oh, I forget, it may have been Thornbury, um, a bit spasmodically. You know, like they, they're not there all the time. I think we mentioned that the average number of days absent without a note for year nine kids in Victoria, over the years about 10%. So meaning kids are missing one day a fortnight in year nine without a note. Now, that one day a fortnight is not critical, you know, it's probably not the end of the world and probably no one cares much, but it does mean if they're not there yesterday, you've got a problem. Because they didn't, they, you know, what's this stuff about probability? You know, that they, so that they, and then causes problems for you. Um, but the other issue was, kids who are at the school who, who haven't, you know, you're in year eight, but they haven't had eight years of previous school, they've only had two years of previous schooling. Okay, how do you do that? Now, I'm actually talking about, do, at least sometimes, doing lessons which I call self-contained. So that they're, in a sense, you almost need to know nothing at all before you start. But we eventually get on to reasonable year eight maths sort of relatively quickly. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. So I want, and I want to do an example of that and then talk about it. You've got a choice between having uh, it's little squares or big, sorry, little squares or big squares to work on this. So could you, could you take them around in case people want? So do you want little squares or big squares? 
The first question, by the way, for the people who've got their paper, is what letters can you draw with an area of exactly 10 square units? What I'd like you to do, please, I should have... Can you go on to doing... What letters can you draw with an area of exactly 10 square units, but this time you can use whole squares and half squares? A bit like that. Sorry, what's your name? Jenny actually started off trying to do an X. I don't know whether you can actually see... We've got a bit of a, you know, a, a sort of a rough sketch of the X there. And then Jenny said that, oh, like, I'm going to really now get it down to 10. And so started on the X, but actually realised it was too big and so changed it to a Y. But now this Y here is a, is a Y that's got an area of 10 square units, which is exactly what we were looking for in this task. Okay. Could you, could you just quickly please um, talk to the people at your table, what sort of enabling prompts might you use for this task? So suppose we pose this so far. Now, by the way, you could ask this question of people who've never been to school. At, at one of the schools that I was at, by the way, they asked me, one of the, one of the schools in the remote indigenous communities, they asked me would I run a parent night. And so I was actually going to do what we'd, well, at least the first bit of what we're doing now on the parent night. So these are people who've like never been to school. I was going to do this. So that's what I mean. You don't need, you hardly need to know anything. But I, I'd have answered this question I just asked you now. What would I do to help people now? Who's got a suggestion of how we might help kids who might be doing this? <coughs> yes? Yeah, I sort of, we certainly asked them what, what, how, what do we mean by that. One of the, I, I think I talked a little bit last time about one of the things that I never do, and I think I'm going to start doing, because I got a little bit, is spending a little bit of time on the actual question to you know, try and say, what do you think is meant by the word letters? You know, can anyone see any letters around the room here anywhere um, to do that? You know, what do you mean by draw? What do you mean by area of exactly 10, you know, so we'd spend a bit of, so assuming we've done that, uh, normally I don't do that, but I think it's probably worth doing, yeah. Okay, what else might we do? Once we've clarified the, what the task is. To enable, not to explain the task, yeah. I was going to say, then provide some square Okay, square counters. Here's, here's 10 square counters, make some letters. So it's just one step easier. If the, that representation was hard, okay, now it's one step easier. Okay, what else might we do? Yeah, no, it's the same, same as that one. Okay, well, what, you might even say, can you do, can you do an L for me? Yeah. And in fact, I actually, when I've done this, for people who can't get started, I actually have a sheet like this. Can you see the sheet I've got, which has actually got a letter on it? I have some of them. And what I do is, I just, someone's stuck, I just swap them over. You know, that they didn't know what to do. And that's all you need to do. And they can see, you know, they can get started because they've got a prompt to do that. But how, what, 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 it's another prompt? Oh, well, that's, pro that's probably more advanced, actually. So that more, more to do that. What about the rectangles? Or okay, forget about the letters. Just do any shape that's got an area of 10. So we've just made it simpler again. So you can see how the idea is we're just reducing the demand of the task so the kids can get into it a bit. Any other suggestions? Well, they're sort of perfect type suggestions for what you might do. Now, I was going to, we didn't actually talk about this, but let's just yell out some things. What about extending prompts? Now, that, that suggestion of write your name with all letters with an area of 10. What's another suggestion? 3D shapes. 3D shapes. Okay, can you make it so they've got a volume of 10? 